What's up you guys? It is Saturday. It's the weekend. I have greasy, nasty hair because I just ran sprints and you can tell just by the way I look. But that's okay. I'm in my athleisure wear so people won't mind that I look greasy, hopefully. We are here at the old Walmart, Wally World, if you will. I'm so annoying after I work out. You'll just have to pardon my endorphins. We are here to do a full grocery shopping trip. Just for Rosalie and I, so you already know that I got her a happy meal to distract her while I do my grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, I look like a mess. I better get in. Get this over with. Disgraceful. Is it a beautiful day out? Say wow. We've got to get halos, not cuties, because apparently there's a difference. According to Zach. Oh no, that's open. Much better. I'm gonna see if Rosalie will eat these powdered donuts. Sweet potatoes, of course. Bread for Zach's sandwiches. Family pack, you already know. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> She'll just randomly hug me during grocery shopping. Give me the biggest bag you have. Listen, you guys, so many people tell me I can't live a healthy lifestyle. My husband or boyfriend or wife or girlfriend or the people I live with in general are just not healthy. And they don't have, you know, the same eating habits, so it's just not in the budget. Listen, you guys, I'm actually gonna make a video about how to be healthy even when your significant other is not necessarily supportive. And I'm gonna do that because that is my life. He's not, not supportive, but he also does not eat healthy at all. <laughs> no offense, babe, love you. <laughs> this is why I can never find the doctor's from. I am gonna buy four bags, and Zach's gonna be mad. <laughs> Listen, whales are way better than goldfish. Fight me in the comments section if you don't agree. <laughs> you also already know. I get two of these for Zachary. Two of these for Rosalie. Oh no, this is gonna be a problem. Yep. always asks for these and never ever eat them. So I bet you in a month those two will still be in the fridge. Oh, hey, hi. Can I get a pound of thinly sliced ham? They actually have size seven today. I'm so gonna ask Zach if we can get Rosalie this for Easter. Look at this cute little lamb, it's so soft. Aw. Good thing she's not paying attention. <laughs> What is it, babe? Is it our invitation? Oh, I'm so excited. It did look a lot better online. The picture quality is like pretty average. Um, it's just a little bit blurry in person. It's okay. I mean, I'm not really that concerned. I just told Zach that people are gonna get it and they're like, okay, let's RSVP, and then it's gonna go straight in the trash. So, <laughs> I'm not that concerned. You don't like the font? Which font? I think the font's really pretty. So, I'm not concerned about your opinion. Are you serious? All right, Illinois, you need to get your stuff together. If this isn't gone by the end of the day, we're moving. It's <laughs> What's up guys? It's Sunday. By the way, the snow already melted and it's, well it's 1.30 now, but it melted by 11 a.m. I'm very thankful. 
Um, I wanted to show you what I'm working on currently. I'm doing a little bit of meal prep for the week. As you'll have seen, I'm working on a kale and spinach saute right now. It's just olive oil, salt, and pepper all to taste. I will say though, don't add too much olive oil. If you add too much, it'll just like over saturate your meal and just it won't, won't work. So just like a small drizzle and then if you need to add more, add more. So that's my advice for that. Next I'm going to be doing spiralized zucchinis. Kind of a spaghetti, mushrooms, and a zucchini to make like a spaghetti. What I'm going to be using to spiralize my zucchinis is this thing, it's called the Vegetti Pro. If you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen it. It's a really, really cool device. It's super easy to use. It was like, I think $18, like crazy affordable. I got this from Walmart, BTW. And there's like a little switch on the side that will suction cup it so it can't move from your counter. All right, so as you'll see, that was super simple. I don't even peel them, you don't need to. So it's definitely oddly satisfying, and so are these little things that it makes. It's like an elephant trunk or something. <laughs> or something. <laughs> so all of that spinach and kale that you guys saw cooked down to enough to fit into this. <laughs> and that's why they sell spinach and kale in those massive bags. For his, I'm actually gonna add some butter and some Parmesan. I'm gonna add Olive oil, salt and pepper, you guessed it. A little bit of crushed red pepper to the shrimp. I'm gonna do the same thing. And the crushed red pepper just gives it an extra little kick, which is amazing. But if you can't do any spice, I would say leave out the crushed red pepper for sure. All right, so this is how mine turned out. Looks delicious. I have a pan lid on top of Zach's right now to melt the butter and Parmesan. I'm gonna mix that all together and then put some more Parmesan on top. Oh my goodness. I think he's gonna like it, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know what he thinks. Oh yeah, that looks yummy. Folks, that's how you make a meal to satisfy both your partner's preferences and that can also effectively help you reach your health and fitness goals. That's another tip I have. If you only allow yourself like a certain amount of cheat meals per week, save them I guess for the meals that you think your husband would also want to eat. Like if your guys are going to go out to eat to Mexican, for example, save your cheat meal or one of your cheat meals for that day. Or if your husband is like mine and he likes to eat breakfast on the weekends, you can save your cheat meal for the weekend. I feel like I always... Rosalie Grace! As you can see... What was I even saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've showed you guys in quite a few vlogs biscuits and gravy because that's always Zach's request. So if I know he's going to want biscuits and gravy, I'll try and save my cheat meal for that day. It takes some planning and some forethought, thinking ahead. It's definitely not impossible. You just have to decide that it's something you're going to commit to. Commit to your own health and commit to eating what's going to help you thrive. Why am I like this? <laughs> I just put these pants on and Rosalie wiped her snotty nose all down my pants. And this is why we can't have nice things. Uh-oh. Rosalie. Good morning, crazy hair. Did you poop? Should we go change your diaper? No. Yes. No? Yes. I'm having my usual oatmeal. Super predictable. <laughs>
are you praising Jesus right now? <laughs> My goodness, look at this stylish little chick. So this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna go to the gym pretty shortly after we go to Costco. That's where we're headed right now. I actually did something with my hair today. So I think it looks stinking cute, all curled. I'm gonna put some stuff on my face. We're gonna go pick up the covenants for our house because I didn't tell you guys this, but we have some interest in the house, but them submitting an offer is contingent on whether or not they can build a fence. I've had to jump through a lot of hoops and over lots of hurdles to try and figure out who the heck I need to talk to to even find out whether they can build a fence or not. So, fingers crossed. But yeah, we're gonna head to Costco right now. Y'all are gonna come with us. Let's go. <laughs> Hi! You want this, baby? You know, you have to put it together. For your birthday. That would be a fun birthday present. Oh yeah, that would be really fun. <laughs> Tara Henderson recommended this chicken tortilla soup. And Adam likes it apparently, so we'll see if Zach likes it. This is the shrimp that I always get, that you guys see in all my videos. It's raw tail off shrimp. You come here, Stinky. <laughs> come here. Are you being bad for your daddy? Good girl, come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is payback for you being bad in high school too. Gonna use it as <laughs> Rosalie, you need to be good for your daddy. Uh oh. Terrible twos. That sister. You have peanut butter? Oh boy. Oh it's very heavy. <laughs> and we're gonna get this massive thing. A Kodiak cakes. <laughs> These trail mix, the power up trail mix is so good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you my closing thoughts on how to eat healthy when your family, your spouse, significant other, children, whoever you live with does not necessarily have the same goals for you as far as health and how you eat and what you consume on a day-to-day -day basis. I've already told them that it's not that you don't support me. Everybody knows you support me. You don't have the same values. I'd say you have similar values when it comes to aesthetics, like weightlifting and everything. But as far as like what he actually consumes, it's just not the same, we're not at the same stage and that's totally fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But I will say, if you want to make a change, you're gonna have to be a little bit stubborn. You're gonna have to decide right here and right now that you're gonna do it for yourself and you're not gonna really care if you have that support system right away. You need to set that example and then maybe eventually your partner, family, or whoever is gonna jump on board with you, they might not be right there with you in the beginning, but it sometimes will take time, and it'll take you to be the example for them to be more keen to the idea. Once you set that example and show what it's done for you and show how it's helped you, then maybe they might be more interested. But you're gonna have to be a little bit stubborn about your goals, and I think that's that goes for pretty much any goals in life. What do you think, honey? Do you agree? Oh, this is what I was gonna mention, you guys. Don't be annoying though, okay? Like, this is one thing I've been good about. I do, like, here and there, you know, talk to Zach about health and how it's important, but I'm not, like, all the time constantly, like, you need to be eating better, and you need to do this, and you need to do that for your health, because that's just gonna get annoying, and it'll probably push them farther away from being more healthy, and they're not gonna wanna 
join you because you're just being annoying and you're nagging at this point. So what you need to do is just be the example. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this topic, these tips. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. As always, trying to help you live your most healthy and thriving life, finding joy and empowerment through healthy living and overall hoping to help you live a more vibrant life. All right, you guys, we'll talk very, very soon. Bye-bye.